Hi, I'm Pushkar and I'm Master Teacher in Chemistry at Vedantu and I'm discussing J Advanced 2021 Chemistry Solutions. Here's a question from Section 2 from Equilibrium from, uh, sorry, Electrochemistry. The question stem is at 298 Kelvin, the limiting molar conductivity, that means lambda m naught of a weak electrolyte monobasic acid is given 4 into 10 to the power 2. At 298 Kelvin, for an aqueous solution of an acid, the degree of dissociation is alpha and the molar conductivity is y into 10 to the power 2 Siemens centimeter square per mole at 298 Kelvin upon 20 time dilution with water the molar conductivity of the solution become thrice of the previous value 3 y into 10 to the power 2 Simon's centimeter square per mole what is the value of alpha and what is the value of y so the approach of this problem is based on this formula alpha is equals to lambda m at concentration c divided by lambda m at concentration naught and suppose this is alpha 1 which is lambda m at c upon lambda m naught which is given as lambda m at c is given as to be y into 10 to the power 2 so this is y into 10 to the power 2 divided by this is 4 into 10 to the power plus 2 if we can see this similarly at a diluted situation the molar conductivity solution become 3 y into 10 to the power 2 so we can say in diluted condition alpha 2 is equals to once again lambda m lambda m at say c1 and this is at c2 upon lambda m naught and which is equal to probably 3 y into 10 to the power 2 divided by 4 into 10 to the power 2 let's check it out yeah so that's alpha 2 and so alpha 2 is this and uh, now how to approach this problem first get the ratio of alpha 1 alpha 2 so alpha 1 upon alpha 2 you can clearly see is equal to y by 4 upon 3 y by 4 and so this is 1 by 3 and this means that alpha 2 is equals to thrice of alpha 1 we got this relationship also the second situation is the concentration is diluted 20 times so we can use this equation that k is equals to c1 alpha 1 square upon 1 minus alpha 1 must be equal to c2 alpha 2 square upon 1 minus alpha 2 where c2 is equals to given in the problem c1 upon 20 so if we substitute this value here c1 upon 20 we can get 20 times of alpha 1 square upon 1 minus alpha 1 is equal to alpha 2 and which is 3 times of alpha 1 3 times of alpha 1 whole square upon 1 minus 3 alpha 1 so we have an equation in alpha 1 this alpha square can be cancelled so this is 20 upon 9 in fact uh, 20 into 1 minus 3 alpha 1 is equal to 9 minus 9 alpha 1 which upon solving will give us 20 minus 9 which is 11 is equal to 20 60 minus 60 alpha 1 minus 9 alpha 1 which is 51 alpha 1 so this is going to give us the value of alpha 1 alpha 1 is equals to 11 upon 51 once we get the value of alpha 1 now we can get the value of y as well and first of all when we solve it completely we are going to get 0 0.22 as I have already told you that's you are going to get 0 0.22 in fact it is 0 0.2156 which is rounded off to 0 0.22 and now you can put this value of alpha 1 in one of these equations 
so if you put it in one of these equations then y upon 4 is equals to alpha 1 that gives you y is equals to 4 alpha 1 which is 44 upon 51 and upon solving this you're going to get 0 0.86 pretty straightforward question though it seems somewhat difficult at the very first go but then if you have patience and if you are using the conditions well that's not a very difficult question thanks for watching and for other detailed solutions stay tuned